Hi, this is Mama's Natural Kitchen. I'm making bread today, yeah, for my daily use. So this is it, and there's another one here. Okay. So what I'm going to use it for, I'll show you later. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So now I'm going to boil the uh, corn now. Yeah. This is hot water. So I'm putting everything in here. Okay. And then if you want salt, you add your salt. Okay. You cover and then let it cook for let's say half an hour because 30 minutes if it's still icy then for one hour or if it's fresh 30 minutes is fine okay yeah so we cover in the cook right. hello welcome to mama's natural kitchen yes today i'm going to prepare lunch yeah so i'm going to use some of this egg i'm using a sweet pepper green one and this one orange and then i'll have my Red onion here, yeah? slice piece of each and then dice and I use it for my cooking. Okay, so let me show you so that you can see it here. Once they are all here, okay. yeah, I'm going to dice them and I use it for my lunch. Okay, so I'll show you. Yeah, so now I finished dicing my vegetable here. Yeah? This is it, and then this is the red onion here. Okay, so. Hi, so this is the corn, yeah? The corn that I cook, some of it, okay? I'm going to peel it in there, okay? So let me peel it. This, this is how we do it in Ghana. Ghana corn is street food that, you know, we buy from outside, the roasting one or, you know, grill one or boiled corn, okay? Like that. And then it's very, very hot, so let me dip my hand in the cold water. And then you just twist like that and break it from remove this the skin. This is what we use to make kinky. When it dry, then we use it for kinky. Yeah? Got kinky. That's what we use. And some different types of kinky that in Ghana we have, we use corn leaf to rough it. Okay? So that's one. So I have my sweet corn here. Nice and hot. See? Lovely. To use my knife here, this one, and then cut everything from the corn. Okay, put it down here on my plate. Okay, and then you just cut it like that. If you think that is too hot for you, you can get dip it in the cold water to cool it down, and then you can slice it. This is how last time when I make pizza. Yeah? This is the same way that I used to make my pizza. And I said, why not show you guys so that you will know how to do it. When the corn is here, you can buy some. Instead of you buying the one in a can, you can buy a fresh one, cook it, and then use it for your cooking. Okay? You buy it too, a lot, you save it. You can you know, leave it in your freezer. Whenever you need it, you just use it. Okay? And you throw this one away, okay? Okay, like that. I need one for what I'm doing, I need only one for now, okay? So, if you're making a lot, you can use two, but for what I'm doing today, I need one. So, this is it. Okay? You have big family, you know, you just buy. If you have big pots like this, you cook it in. If you don't have it, you cut it into two and then you cook it in your small pot that you have, yeah? So that's the, the pot that I boil it in, all right? Yeah, so this is my, uh, this is the onion and peppers, mixed peppers here, yeah? Red onion, mixed peppers. This is my mine, it's seasoned mine is here, okay? So I'm going to mix everything. This is the bread that I bake. From yesterday, you see, one day also is you know good for sandwich. Yeah? So I'm going to slice this and then use it for my sandwich. All right. So I'm going to and then this is the egg here. I have egg as well. Okay. Eggs. So I'm going to put everything here. This one in my mail. And this will put in my mayonnaise. Three corn here as well. Yeah, so this is my 
a uh, base for my sandwich here. Yeah? I have my lovely tuna here, my veg, sweet corn and veg, and you know, minus season minus here. Yeah? So I'm going to slice my bread. Here. Slice the bread. Okay, this one. Okay, okay. So I'm going to this much here. This was very, very simple, straightforward sandwich. Yeah, so now this is my tuna mix and I have already used margarine to butter all my bread here, yeah? This, the margarine I use is low fat margarine and then minus, low fat minus as well, okay? Yeah, so now I'm going to fill my sandwich with this uh, tuna and vegetable mix here. You know, the tuna I use is one tin of tuna, okay? One tin of tuna, that's it. I add my vegetables. Okay? So this is it. So I'm going to put some eggs here. Okay, and then more filling here. I'm gonna put another filling on the other side as well. Here, yeah. Yeah, so this is it, yeah? This is my tuna and egg sandwich. Yeah, this is very simple. You can prepare this in lunch time in the afternoon, you know? And then share with your loved ones, okay? Very simple. Not every day that you want to, you know, work so hard and, you know, sometimes you just want to do something simple and then chill with your family, okay? So this is it, yeah? I'm going to cover them with their legs, okay? So this one goes... And this one goes here, yeah? Cover it. Because I have a minus and everything in the tuna, you know, you glue it. So you just on top of that. See my massive sandwich here. Okay? Something that you two can do. Right? Yeah, so now this is my sandwich. I'm going to slice them here. Yeah? So that we share. So when you make it big like this, you know that you cannot eat by itself. So you need to slice it. And everyone can have his share. Okay, something like that. And you pick them one by one. Put them on your plate. Yeah, so now this is my Sunday you know, sandwich, okay? Very simple, but very good, okay? This is something that you can prepare, friends and family can enjoy, okay? This is Mama's lovely tuna egg sandwich, okay? And then this is my drink. This drink has been the winner in my home. They love it so much, so I prepared some as well. This one I use um, different food as uh, I think it's in the video you know. Yeah, my only raspberries in this one. So I'm gonna pour some here, yeah? and then when you after you eat this big sandwich, then you need to have drink to push it down. <laughs> yes. So this is it. Okay, beautiful. Try make some. Lovely. This is eating best sandwich, but delightful. Please subscribe and share for me. Okay. When you watch my channel, please subscribe. And let other people hear about my channel okay mama i did here thank you for watching thank you